Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Clarice and today we are going to have um, a cool compilation of my clips when I went back to the Philippines for a short vacation and also for a quick room tour. Um, I moved here um, in the States and I curr I'm currently staying here in the city and I just miss my childhood. It's not even my childhood room per se, but it's actually the latest room that I have since I just miss my room. I grew up there and I decorated it and that's where a lot of my first as an artist happened i love decorating and diy and it was refreshing to go back and to try and decorate it in my updated way of saying what i liked and also um making it dog proof since uh, i have dogs now they're more involved when i visit and also we got a new dog her name is Kanji. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this room tour and I'll try my very best to um, include all of the links of where I bought them locally and also how I tried to arrange them and stuff like that. So These are actually the images of my room. Actually, this is weird because I'm on Instagram, but I'm just like looking back on what what the progression of my room was like visually. This is me. Um, my, one of my favorite activities is just really lying down on the floor, bringing all of my art materials and really um, starting with my projects. You know, when I was younger, there was a lot of curiosity. There was a lot of things that I didn't know about art. And um, it was easy for me to go into that space where I was having fun. But then when I, as I got older and also when I studied advertising in college, it got harder for me and more challenging for me to keep a routine. But one of the things I have uh, realized is I love drawing on the floor. So I always had rugs. Now these were one of my favorite rugs. It's a Persian rug which I purchased on sale. It was one of the pieces, I think I bought it for 65 bucks or 70 bucks in the Philippines. I have this cool peacock chair which I got for a photo shoot for my thesis and uh, turned business and also there's a lot of the bags that I got. And yeah, um, and this was a bunch of my um, art materials as you can see there's a lot of uh, stuff going on there and I used to have this like easel but I gave it to an older painter um, that was a friend of ours so he could paint from his bed so yeah on my dog she's like sitting down and she's just like lying there so that's the Persian rug like a better view of it this is my room that I've had it, it was one of the big bigger paintings that I've made uh, when I was younger. I think 13 or 14 years old. That was like a long time ago. Probably when I was in first year high school or something like that. Uh, again, a lot of my artworks on the floor. A lot of my stuff is in like an open closet type of thing. And this was me being proud of what I really wore. I had some pla a lot of plans before, but I moved them because no one was gonna take care of them in the room. It was usually locked. So I also did this specific arrangement in my room, which I loved. I put like a big rug and this super cute uh, like um, arrangement. And I had a lot of chunk in my room. A lot of people call them junk, but I really call them treasure. It's just like a lot of stuff. This is my table, my drafting table, which I used for making plates. But again, mostly I ended up painting and drawing on the floor. And this is one of my table. 
a very cramped table as you can see i have a lot of things happening i'm a very maximalist girl and i think i've still brought that until today so i am a very more of like the cool side of the equation but i'm i was leaning towards like warmer colors eventually yeah that's that's how my room progressed i think i do have more photos here but mostly with my room with my art oh yeah this is me in my room with a bunch of keys i think this is one of the ways i also decorated it i mean if i didn't have the time i mean if i was feeling a little bit sad or weird i would always um, arrange my stuff yeah this is my room i i would draw on um i would arrange the rooftop um i really like that very very explosive stuff lots of colors going on and this one i think this is a bracket for a painting and i just like added hooks so i could use it as a holder for my hats this is actually my old room as you can see i i carry that um iron mesh board yeah, I, I remember specifically arranging this it was so much fun this flat play i have like an obsession and one of the paintings i did for when i was like super young this is me with my dog and um those boxes i adore so much because they are one of the key pieces like how i arrange stuff so we'll be seeing them i didn't take like exactly like before and after photos but here it is um when i arrived i had my i had my dogs come and smell my luggages and i knew they could smell my mom because my mom helped me pack my stuff so here are some photos of my dog just really sniffing my luggage and i just miss my dog so much i think dogs and pets serve as a very important part of growing up in a home and really learning to take care of a living thing you know other than plants and other human beings uh, pets like dogs or um they, they bring so much freshness and so much joy in our homes even though it's a lot of responsibility to take care of them um i am taking care of a new dog um, well, my dad's taking care of her right now. Her name is Kanji. So this is her. She's um, like relaxing on my bed. This is like after two months or three, after two months that she's been with us and she's pretty much confident and she knows her way around the house already. She's sweet. I love her. Uh, one of my favorite pieces which is the lamp so this lamp I got it from Shopee and it's cool because it's an, an off-white color and it's pro they call it like the retro lamp so it's actually adjustable the light can be cool or darker or you could also have it a little bit dimmer this is my little sister she's like she like wakes up like super late so I'm trying to wake her up annoyingly so yeah those are my stuff and this is like the fun pillow the frog pillow i got from bt21 and so what i like about my room too is that it's made out of tiles so it's easier to clean i just get a damp uh, cloth and just put water and maybe add a little bit of disinfectant like pine salt just because I live with dogs and I usually clean up after them. So this is parts of my room. This is like the entrance. Once you get in the room, I have this, um, again, this space, like the tiled space. And at the end, this is actually um, a wooden shelf I got. Um, and it just displays like my protein shake. Um, jug whatever you call it, call it and then also the digital clock which I wasn't able to attach super cool um, 
CD player so I have a lot of CDs which I've collected through the years and I never really gave them away or sold them because they're like a big part of me growing up so I decided to purchase one of those and just like a bunch of stuff um, in that area just for easy access again this is the peacock chair I think I got this for like 200 bucks and this was made uh, locally in the Philippines so just a quick fact peacock chairs actually originated in the Philippines the first one was made um, in Bilibid prison by one of the women who were there in jail to create um, handicrafts came one of the most iconic imagery for powerful people in the US and also CD sleeves or vinyl sleeves very iconic where you go when you sit on it very comfortable and very cool and also I got this and super pretty laundry bag as you can see it's supposed to be clipping on that part of the wire but I am actually for some reason I think I was in that but it's supposed to look like that like on the other end and I attach one of these um, wire holders just to have my easy access books or like any stuff that's a little bit more important so the bad thing is or like the frustrating part is like on the hanger section it's a little bit um there's a little bit of scuffing and like you can see the paint go out so i think you should really use this because specific is a view of me just showing my rattan mirror so i got it online as well and that little stool because i love sitting down this is also my bed i mean that's my little sister's um, stuffed toys and that's just a view and also we have that super cool chair which i got from overlay overlay, overlay is um created by my friend um back in college and i just bought this chair from her because i just thought it was so pretty like the colors and the gradients um how they matched um my current taste for things i have a like a world map on the side i mean i haven't gotten a chance to take a photo of it but it's one of the things i bought from typo i believe i bought it for like i think um 60 bucks or 55 bucks this is my study room when i was fixing everything um i was uh fixing stuff to go back here just weighing stuff and my dog's here and i mean that's my little sister and this is a view of my study room a lot of elements there like my dog I have this uh, table as you can see um, this is one of the pictured ones this is like old table f and furniture from my brother and I just well, actually let's get a closer look on what I have on my table this is like not too crowded as I would have it usually so I'm not a big fan of tables for some reason I just prefer being on the floor here as you can see it's my old laptop which my little sister got um she's going to use it hopefully i have this tarina tarantino um doll and i saw those when i was like way younger and it just spoke to me it's just a very confident woman very flamboyant very bold fun colors on the hair and you know i have a lot of mementos and photos that remind me of myself this is a antique Chinese border wallet and border on silk I want to restore it and hopefully I can when I have the funds in time um yeah I have this super cute calculator too and also one of the things that I wasn't able to bring was my embroidery hoop which I bought I totally forgot to bring it wooden wrap which I just put my stuff mostly my and also that's my a painting from the like uh the numbers like paint my numbers yeah maybe i'll upload that video and it's just so funny so i uh, have this super cute like plastic um, containers which where i put my like my collectibles and 
um, my old uh, magazines. I love collecting magazines. I think they're a really good source of inspiration. I mean, they're not in at the moment, but I think there's some novelty to having print. Uh, and you know, if you don't like your, if you don't like to collect them as much, you could use them as collage um, resource. And I wouldn't call them tables or shelves, but they're like stackable containers. So what I like about these stackable containers is that they are clear and they actually go to weight. So if you put them in the right smack dab in the middle of like a hallway or make it less at, like as like a divider, like a two-way, you could open it from the other side, like two of the sides back to back and they're clear and I actually labeled them. I had to replace my old luggages um, into like better and really high quality ones. Ramoa is probably one of the things that have a lot of hype but I really didn't know so I mean I really didn't care. I was just really happy that it looked so pretty and it just spoke to me how it's just how I wanted my suitcases to look. Uh, bright orange. Bright metallic orange. So as you can see they're here and I got them like a protector like a plastic protector just in case they get mishandled i mean a lot of the things that i got um thankfully are good quality like, i try to choose them very well and not buy stuff that kind of like easily gets thrown away oh my god it's so weird when i think about it that i grew up here so yeah that's my room tour all of the stuff that I show it is gonna be in the description so if you want to get that for yourself or something similar we'll go for it a lot of times if we have our stuff um, like all over the place and we don't really know you know they don't have a designated place even though it's a lot of stuff but if you know they have a designated place in your uh, room you're at peace because you know where they are and they feel uh, respected and that's just how I think it is and I also actually wrote about this about nesting and how my experience was throughout the years and also I am I've included like um, articles and like studies about it and I'm working on it um, as of right now but it's definitely going to be out once I release this video so I'm gonna be putting that uh, link to that blog post so you can read on it and hopefully get inspired to fix your um fix and arrange your room as intentional as you want it to be so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and before i end this video i'm actually going to uh show more clips of how my short trip went so it's mostly just me being at home and me going to restaurants when i can and uh, places groceries and stuff like that with my friends and family and it's just um, I mean, I've been there for three months, almost three months, but it was nice to go back home and I miss the Philippines every time, but um, it was it was tough when I when I went back during this pandemic. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you subscribe if you haven't and click the bell for to have to get a enough notification. So if you haven't, please click subscribe if you like what you're seeing and also click on the bell to have notifications coming your way to hear about the videos that I will be posting soon and in the future. And also if you'd like to subscribe to my newsletter, and it's going to be in the description i'll be posting regularly on dear artists which is my blog and write about creativity and cre um, creative practice creative process and all of those things and how we relate to them in our lives in general and you know be more intentional with our lives so i uh, hope to see you there and also i'll be seeing you on instagram i'm mostly active there so it's gonna be exciting and i'll see you guys around Bye!